Missed a short hitter here. You don't look like a short hitter to me. Not the best of days for golf. I really think it's time to give it a spin. A lot of guys have been asking for this ball, so I picked them up. I think you can only get them at Dick's and Golf Galaxy. Definitely a nice looking premium ball. It's got a nice alignment aid on there. Not too overbearing. This hole is 380 from here. Out of bounds left water right but i think it's about 230 to that water now well, 44 degrees so we won't be hitting it that far little off the toe felt nice and solid a little firm any wind there isn't helping we got 153 to the pin. I think it's 167 to the middle of this green. So even with the cold air, that's not a bad carry. Ball went 215 or so. There's a bunker on the left side. We're gonna hit a six hybrid. It might be a little too much. Don't underestimate the wind. This ball. I'm right on the front edge of the green. The ball must have landed just short and bounced on. So I'm thinking the ball's past the hole because it took so much club. The cold was eating in there. Don't underestimate the cold weather. <laughs> so in these conditions, this hole is 400 yards. Remember this being a really tough hole. So we'll see what happens. You need to hit a good drive here. If we don't, it just may turn into a three shotter because there's water to the right of that green, water short of that green. The ball did not feel very hard on that approach shot, but I did hit a six hybrid. Off the tee, it felt a little firm. That's right. Should be short of that bunker. So guys, this hole is like 406 from where I teed off. There's a bunker that's on the right. It's 250 yards to that bunker. My ball went right in that direction. It's gonna be way short of that. You know, I'd imagine a good drive today would be 215, 220, depending on if we get any roll. If we get some roll, maybe 225. And we're going to need some roll to try to attack this, or maybe even to try to hit at this green. I can't remember. We'll take a look at it. You can see what I'm looking at here. Actually, the ball went probably a little further than I, than I thought. I had 406, 185 to the center of the green. So the ball did go 220 or so. And we've got the bunker here. We've got the willow. There's water beyond that willow and all the way to the right. I'll take you up there so you can see what it looks like. We are sitting at the 100 yard marker here. The water starts maybe about 80 yards short of the green. So depending on your handicap level, depending on what type of ball striker you are, this is the decision you need to make on a hole like this, coming in from 185 yards. If you're a high handicapper, a good play for you is probably to hit it at this 100 yard marker and just play it kind of towards the left side of this fairway. That way you don't get blocked out by the tree. So guys, this is one of those shots where you have to determine is your ego <laughs> getting in the way of you playing the correct shot. I've got 170 to the front edge of that green. And we're gonna play a little left. There's out of bounds left, but the out of bounds left is probably hit the hook at 20 yards left and hitting this four hybrid kind of taking long out of play. If I hit high wood and I hooked it, I could hit it long and left. So we're gonna take a four hybrid, left of the green, play it safe, just a little left of that green, give us a little room on either side. Okay, it's a smart play and it's safe. So guys, where the Camry is, is pretty much the highest point of this fairway. Like I'm really walking uphill going this way. So my ball landed actually left to where the camera was and just kind of bounced directly right. We're gonna hit a seven iron. 
so hard to get it up this little slope here. There's a mound right in the middle of the green. guys that was just such a big mound you know this is still about 10 feet short but definitely an acceptable shot from there just not an easy shot really it moved left to right just like that chip rammed it so guys this hole is about 330 there's a bunker on the right side that's about 215 away or 210 and then there's water all down the left side so we're just going to take a three wood at the bunker, a little bit left of it, and we should stay short of that bunker, keep the water on the left out of play. Kind of lost it. I felt like I hit a draw there. Okay, guys, so this is the perfect example of strategic golf, essentially. So right now I'm even with the bunker. My ball is about maybe 10 yards short of this bunker. So if I hit driver, I could have reached the bunker for sure. The other thing is I did hit a hook here. So like I mentioned, there's water all down the left side of this fairway, which from where my ball is, you can see the water behind me. So that water is probably about 20 yards left of me, which if I aimed this ball at the middle of the fairway, I would have definitely gone in that water. So we kept it short of the bunker, we played away from the hazard, and you can't do any better than that. Watch kills me, I've got 148 to the middle of the green, 154 to the pin, wind is blowing right to left and hurting, and it's kind of towards the back of the green. So I'm thinking 154, that'll give us at least 160, should be safe. We're gonna hit a five hybrid. The wind blowing so hard right to left, I will take this one here at that right pin. Yeah, didn't make a good swing there, guys. We cleared that one out to the right. So the wind just stood this ball up in the air. Probably hit that five, five hybrid about 130 there. So we have no choice but to hit this up in the air. Wind should affect it a little bit. See if we can get up and down. Guys, we got one more hole because with this wind right now, 45 degrees feels like 25 degrees. course we finish on a fire five I think it's about 500 yards from here water both sides two ninety six water right but left is kind of safe so we're gonna go a little left with the high wood And that one, we hit very, very thin. We got away with one there. It's cold air into the wind. I'm 133 to a front pin. Immediately, I'm forgetting the front pin, 
going to the back of the green, which is about 150. I'm gonna hit a five hybrid. Felt like I hooked it, so it may be long left, maybe. From 50 yards, the Max Fly Tour launched 2 degrees higher than the Pro V1, had 600 RPM less spin, 3 degrees steeper descent, and 1 yard higher peak height. With the 7 iron, the Max Fly Tour matched the Pro V1 in ball speed, launch very similar, 500 RPM less spin, descent, and peak height matched up had one more yard carry and due to less spin had three more yards on the total. With the four hybrid, the Max Fly Tour matched the Pro V1 in ball speed, had one degree higher launch, spin about 150 RPM less, one degree steeper descent, one yard higher peak height, and two yards further on the carry and the total. With the driver, the Max Fly Tour had two miles per hour more ball speed, one degree lower launch, 400 RPM more spin, one yard further on the carry and the total. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for Friday's match against Tom and I also have a video coming out Sunday, a special video that I'm really excited about. In the meantime, check out this video, which is one of my favorite videos of all time. And if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Mr. Short Hitter, out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away, yeah. Gotta hit more greens. My